थोड़ा स्लो रहना तेरा रेड सिग्नल तेरा सामने खड़ा है तू इधर क्या कर रहा है ना का क्यों बाप को देखकर डर रहा है <laughs> बाप तू बाप नहीं है शाम पे बाप से बात करने की तमी से ले तू क्या कर रहे जेंटलमैन जेंटलमैन हेलो प्लीज हेलो हेलो नागा नायडू राना नायडू वी हैव सो मेनी गेस्ट हियर एंड आई डोंट थिंक यू वांट टू कम टू ब्लोज इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम व्हाई डोंट वी जस्ट शो देम द मोस्ट एक्सप्लोसिव ट्रेलर of rana naidu and then you tell me whether the show should be called rana naidu or naga naidu gentlemen come with me please cue the trailer woo can we have the seats coming in first please all of you this side please tell me how much did you enjoy the trailer give me a woo give me a shout out Now what about those of you who are right here? Can you give me a shout out and tell me how much you loved it? March 10th you need to block that date on your calendar because we're all going to be binge watching this show. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And just to just watch both of them on stage. You could see the power in the house you could just see the dynamics you could see the crackling chemistry dear yeah, miss monica shergil and of course our formidable duo let's hear it for rana dagubati and dagubati venkatesh karu thank you thank you so much for joining us it's a pleasure having you here I swear Monica for a point in time I was a little worried when they were having a go at each other only you could have doused that fire so a special round of applause for her looking dapper as always gentlemen and you in the power suit really stealing it all <laughs> moving forward ladies and gentlemen it is now time to welcome the stellar cast and the powerful team that has made this saga come alive on screen from serious to comic roles she knows how to make her character make it her own make it unforgettable as nena rana's wife she will warm your heart ladies and gentlemen and maybe just maybe even break it please put your hands together and welcome the very talented and beautiful surveen chavla our next performer he ignites his performances with a raw talent and nuances that have brought him appreciation and accolades from all quarters he plays the big brother of the fixer himself please welcome sushant singh aka tej nailu without doubt one of the most versatile actors in current times from being a brilliant comic to showcasing his aggressive side he knows how to engage his audience abhishek banerji the youngest brother jafar naidu please join us on stage he is one of the most celebrated actors of our times and his popularity over the years has remained as strong as the roles he has portrayed please welcome this powerhouse of talent mr ashish vidyarthi as surya he 
has won millions of hearts with his intense acting and distinctive characters. Can we hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for the suave and sassy Gaurav Chopra as Prince? Adding her very unique sparkle to this star cast is Priya Banerjee as Mandira Sharma. She is spunky, she is beautiful, she has come a long way in a short span of time. Let's please get her on stage with a big round of applause from all of you. This extraordinary thrilling show is the dream child of these men behind the scenes. The ones who've worked tirelessly to put this series to life, to put together this mega star cast. Please welcome our producer Sundar Aaron from Locomotive Global, Karan Anshuman and Suparn Varma who have created and directed this action-packed drama. I'm just scanning the stage from left to right. Look at the abundance of talent right here on this stage, ladies and gentlemen. Please give them a huge round of applause. I gotta say, the trailer looks smashing. And just seeing you all here makes me sense that mind blowing. I love that. Can we hear more hoots in the house, please? Love it. Shall we start off with uh, the fixer? Rana? Yes, tell me, <laughs> tell me what a fixer really does, and why do you have that cricket bat with you? What is the significance? Well, that's one of the resorts. If the fixing doesn't get done with words and voice, you have a cricket bat, wow. and then dangerous things keep coming after that. <laughs> Talk to us about the experience of uh, working with your uncle for the very first time, sharing screen space. Wow. Okay. Now this is. Like from the time I kind of made it in my career that I knew I'll do this at some point in my life and I just wanted it to not be cliche, uh, to be cool, to be something that we can consistently revisit those, those characters over and over again. And uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better than Ran and I do and with these fine filmmakers, Karan and Supan uh, and Netflix, so I'm very, very happy to this. And finally, what does a fixer really do, if you had to answer that in a sentence? Well, the day you have a problem, you will give me a call and you'll know what a fixer does. But just like most people here, I have countless problems, so we'll have to put that into a list and come back. Problems <laughs> that aren't legal, that aren't… that's the reason you need a fixer. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's uh, turn to Naga, aka Venkatesh Garu. <laughs> We've got some big fans in the house and those of you who are watching this digitally as well, I'm sure all of us have a huge smile on our faces. Talk to us about Naga the character and how is it to work with your nephew? Well, Naga the character, I mean, uh, this guy is the most unpredictable guy. Uh, I mean, I've uh, done many characters but this, guy, this character has been really special. It's a very different character, very unusual character. Uh, and it's got so many shades of emotions. I mean, uh, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad in this guy. Uh, he's quite a uh, fun guy. Uh, but uh, you're going to hate him at times, you're going to love him at times. Uh, that's the best part. And, uh, but the thing is, he's, uh, wherever he goes, there's a lot of uh, bad things happening, right? That's the whole problem with this guy. He's in a real mess always. Uh, he wants to get close to his family, but uh, it doesn't really happen. I mean, my kids, these guys, they really hate me. I don't know why. I, I just want to get close to them, but these guys just, no. They're too stiff, these guys, they're, 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 you know? Yeah, and I'm trying to make it easy, but it's not happening. Uh, but uh, he's a little scary also, this guy. I mean, that's the best part. And I've never done anything like this. And uh, I've enjoyed uh, working uh, 
I mean, I got to do so many, uh, express, uh, explore my emotions uh, in such a different way. Uh, I got to do so many new uh, expressions, and I'm really happy uh, uh, and I uh, have to be thankful to uh, Karan and Supan. They really encouraged me right from day one. They were more confident that I could deliver, and, uh, and even Netflix, the team of Netflix, they were very keen on having me on board. Uh, this uh, wonderful series, uh, Ra Rana and I do. Thank you, all of you. So I think uh, I've tried my best, and let's see. Uh, I, I hope you guys like the uh, trailer. I mean, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. If you loved it, then you tell him with a big round of applause and some cheers in the house, guys. <laughs> Vinkesh Garu, you told us that uh, Naga is the kind of uh, character that you love sometimes and you hate sometimes. But I'm sure we'd love to hate him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it to uh, work with your uh, nephew oh, for the very first time? It, it was fantastic. I mean, it, it was really wonderful uh, and, and I got to uh, work with my nephew uh, Rana and uh, he's done a wonderful job. I mean, uh, but the thing, uh, uh, like uh, Rana was saying, uh, it was not the usual kind of uh, uh, family drama. So, I mean, uh, not the, you know, I mean, being soft with him and uh, singing a song, you know. I mean, that's what they expect in uh, regular films, uh, me and my uh, nephew coming together. Uh, but this was really hard hitting uh, with some uh, hard hitting dialogues. Uh, well, you've seen some of them. <laughs> this poor guy, he, he keeps Somehow. getting. <laughs> uh, so, but it was really nice, and I'm really glad uh, I got to do this. And uh, uh, there's a lot of work in this, yeah. It's, yeah. There was a lot of animosity when we saw the trailer. So, were those emotions sort of natural, or you had to act <laughs> when you saw your nephew opposite you? No, the beauty of this uh, Naga Naidu is it came out so well, I mean, so natural. And I, I was surprised with myself uh, that I could express uh, those expressions. And uh, like I said, uh, Karan and Supan were there always to encourage me. And uh, there was some magic happening out there uh, I could see on the sets. And uh, I just loved it. Yeah. No, we can certainly see that magic ourselves as well. And we cannot wait to unwheel the entire series and binge watch it. Next up, uh, Monica, I'd like to ask you what the most rewarding part of the show was and is. Um, and what do you think is the heart and the core essence of this action-packed show? I think first and foremost, I want to just thank everyone for being here and uh, cheering this uh, absolute uh, cracker of uh, a masala entertainer on Netflix. And also, I want to give a big shout out to Sundar Aaron, our producer. And uh, yes, uh, uh, when he brought the story to us and, uh, you know, the conversations from there on, and then Karan and Suparn, so huge shout out to the three of them for making this possible. And I think the most rewarding part, I would say, was the whole journey of making. You know, the team at Netflix, um, uh, you know, everyone in my team, Tanya, uh, you know, uh, Karishma, Vishaka, uh, everyone who's been a part of the journey from the beginning and really getting Rana and Venki together for the show. If I just have to say one thing, the show wouldn't be what it is, and I think Sundar can add and Karan and Suparan to this, the show wouldn't be what it is, but for these two gentlemen, the entire cast, I think the way they have really performed on screen and how they, they've just... Um, there is what you write on paper, and then there is the magic that you see on screen. And I think Rana Naidu just packs in every bit of entertainment and plot twists and thrilling. And guys, let me just say this. Please do not expect Netflix to always do heavy shows. This is an absolute mass entertainer. And that's how we've designed it. We love it. And I think everyone's going to really sort of wonder what the next thing that Rana does or Wenki does is. And that's the fun of the show. Fantastic. So well put. Thank you so much, Monica. Next up, I'd like to speak to Sundar and uh, find out what the most challenging part of the show was when you had to make it. And what was it like working with these two powerhouse performers headlining the show? Okay, thank you. Everybody for coming out and supporting the show. Um, working with these two powerhouse superstars was, I wish I could say it was hard. It was easy. They're absolute professionals, to be honest with you. And, and that spread throughout the whole show. Uh, the amount of wonderful performances that you're going to see in this show will blow you away, the depth. Of course, led by Rana and, and Venki, I 
couldn't have asked for two more wonderful collaborators, and of course Suparn and, uh, and Karen, who really led us all the way through. It was amazing. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much. Uh, before I pointedly ask the next question, who was the actual fixer on the set? I'd really like to know. Well, that's a good okay, question. Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. They're the Everybody's ones with the pointing to the director. <laughs> <laughs> but who are you going to be pointing at? That's what we'd like to know. Suparn is the fixer of the mood <laughs> on the sets. Okay. <laughs> you should hear my playlist. <laughs> Actually, Karan fix the show. We are the fixers on set, but as far as the mood is concerned on set, we have a very interesting playlist which plays on my Spotify playlist. And uh, let it be known, Netflix does some adult content, so does our music playlist. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more. Well, what's the name of the playlist now? Everybody wants to find it. Now I definitely need to know what's on that playlist. Give us a little bit of a hint. You've told us, you've given us you know, half of the story, at least complete it. What was the, okay, we'll start with that. We'll start with that. What was the playlist for? We'll start a family feud if you kind of ask us about the playlist because everybody has different versions of it, but it sets the mood. In a good way. That's a proper fix, man. That's a proper fix. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Reem, tell us about your character, Nena, and what makes her special. Oh, okay. She's... She's so much, Nana is so much. She's, she's fierce, she's strong, she's, she's soft, she's vulnerable. And what I like most about her is that she's pretty, I find her pretty fearless in making sacrifices towards her topmost priority, which is her kids and her family. And she'd do anything to keep that together. And I think that's what made it very, very special. Every, every time, every day I walked onto that set to bring in that, that strength, that power to, to Nena's uh, part in every possible scene. And of course, um, it was great working with Rana. <laughs> I, I, I think, huh? <laughs> Monica, if you'll give him the mic. Yeah, you did. something you to did. add. You did, you did. So I just paid her to say that. He sort of like leaned towards her and then she's like, oh yeah, now I remember. And yeah, I'm but that's sure the chemistry, right? <laughs> uh, absolutely, and we can see that. <laughs> but uh, who is more intimidating in their character, Rana or Naga, according to you? Oh, hands down, Naga, sir. Mm. Hands down. When was the last time a wife got intimidated by a husband? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Good point, good point. Yeah. Let's uh, speak to Abhishek and Shushant here. Father or son, whose side is your character on and why? Just remember, syllabus you're the sons bahare. too. You're the sons too, just saying. Yeah, I know this is out of syllabus. I think we're not supposed to be on anyone's side. Yeah, you're supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, really? This is yeah, yeah. I, I took the character wrong then. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. My heart tells me to like be by the side of the father, but then he always makes the son do the wrong stuff, which is like, great because that's the kind of father you need <laughs> to <laughs> but, <laughs> but then that's the kind of father you want but that's yeah, not exactly. the kind of father you sorry, need sorry sorry baba <laughs> i mean he was very right yes but you know like uh, but i think uh, uh, rana the character the elder brother is quite cool so you'd like think any jaffa or any younger brothers they would want to you know probably grow up to be rana so yeah i mean it's like both ways diplomatic answer huh your life is sorted basically yeah Thank God I had brothers. I, I, I'm basically a single child, but in the show, I had like two strong brothers. So, in Delhi, they say that back is my So, I feel like this show is that my back is Well, they'll sort it out. So, because you were a single child and you didn't have brothers, so you probably didn't know how it was to be around boys as well, right? Even within the family. So, did you get bullied? Was there any sort of like ragging that happened? Uh, he, he used to rag me because he's also my college senior. He happens to be my college senior. So he used to rag me a lot. In fact, bully me, guys. I was bullied on set by Sushant saying, Apollo. <laughs> that tells you a lot about this Naidu family. <laughs> I'm on the side of Naidus, by the way. Huh? No father, no son. On side of Naidus. So, basically, is fixer ke family May isko lagta hai ki ye fixer hai. He's trying to fix the family. 
टिल नागा स्टेप्स इन और तब इसको लगता है कि नहीं नाइडूस का कुछ नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज नागा जहां पांव रखता है तो पीछे पीछे ट्रेल ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन और सबसे पहला तो तीन डिस्ट्रक्शन ही छोड़ के गया तीन बच्चे सो so, या yeah, फिक्सर की फैमिली को फिक्सर चाहिए सो वी आर इन सर्च ऑफ दैट But what about that accusation? You didn't respond to it. I, true. Cle I cleverly, I cleverly changed the topic. Which is exactly why I'm catching it right now and then asking you about it again. So I'll change the topic again. No, my college is junior. So it becomes, right? I'm going to do it, right? It becomes, right? All right. Okay. Gaurav, tell us about your character, please. Oh, uh, I play a character called Prince Reddy. Um, Prince Reddy has a long journey in the show. He starts off about 10 years ago um, when he's an upcoming superstar in down south and then comes down to Mumbai, becomes a much bigger star. Um, and he brings along Rana with him from Hyderabad. So they share a journey and they share a bond and they also share a past that they would like to forget. But of course, there is Nagasa there to make sure that no one ever forgets. And um, he's that flashback you don't want to have, but he keeps coming back, that nightmare. But um, yeah, I mean, very, very layered and very, very complicated and so much fun to play. Uh, completely out of my comfort zone. So I'm very, very happy that I've done this. I hope that I don't um, regret doing this, but I, I don't think I will. I'm sure you won't. You definitely won't. And Priya, this is your uh, second show with Rana. How is this different? Th this is my first show. <laughs> <laughs> the second time you're working oh, well, with this is Rana. The first time I'm actually working with Rana. The okay. last one was a Telugu social. It was a show we did. Oh, yeah. Didn't... I played a cameo. In the... Yeah, so this is, yeah. So I we got, the, we got the info right, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk yeah, to yeah us we about were in the same yeah. show, but uh, him and I didn't have any scenes together. So it's pretty different. So this time we share a very interesting relationship, Rana and uh, Mandira, uh, the character I'm playing. So it's very different because uh, I actually got to work with him, share screen space and, you know, do scenes with him. So the first one, he was just there for like, I think, like... I shot just, for three hours. Yeah, literally. Yeah. He was just, you know, it was a special appearance. So, yeah, but I'm pretty excited to see how it's all turned out. Thanks, Priya. Thanks Thank very you. much. Karan and Supan, we'd obviously like to talk to you about uh, what the audiences can look forward to in this series. Well, as all of these guys have already said, and especially Monica, in terms of how it's a you know big fun action masala entertainer, so to speak, and I'm really really thrilled to have uh, this cast, and that's really what I feel is what everyone's going to be looking at, and that is you know the absolute top-notch performances that we have from each of these guys and and all the others. Uh, there's lots of twists and turns and uh, you know the, the story is pretty layered it's 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 uh, pretty breakneck and um, there's lots of surprises at every turn and i think the the one real surprise element is venki mama who's really <laughs> going to surprise a lot of people going forward were there any um, real life instances that inspired elements of the story i'll answer the first part yeah. of what he was talking about, then Karan will talk about what inspired. I think the biggest uh, thing that people will see in this show, especially is I think each and every actor in this show has stepped out of their comfort zone. I don't think you will see anyone or every single actor on stage has ever played a role like this ever. I think at times they questioned themselves and their sanity, including us, as to what we were doing, but they trusted us with the process of going through with it and the results are out there to see. It's It's really been a leap of faith for every single actor. No, the way Gaurav said it, no, I, that he ho doesn't hope he regrets, I, there's a, that's a very loaded line there, you know, because he, for example, has gone out of his skin. It's such a, uh, oh, all, all sorts out of, of the yeah, out of the box, all sorts of uh, strange terms are coming to my head right now, so which I can't probably <laughs> say publicly, but, you know, he's really stepped up, for example, and as have all these guys, like every single person, like especially for, for, for Venki sir, it's just like a huge, huge moment, I think. And I'm so privileged to have been the one, you know, just at the right place at the right time to be there to witness that and help it along the way.
No, it's 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 a fictional show, guys. So it's not really. Um, if there are real fixers out there, I haven't met them or I haven't needed them, rather. <laughs> thankfully, that's a good thing. <laughs> so, so you know, it's all it's all in our heads. We have friends in high places. I think they have them when we need to. So it's all good. You have that one friend you call at midnight, right? Yeah. Which so is. Now we all have that friend, ladies and gentlemen, that we can go to if we are in a spot of bother. But my big question to all of you is, uh, whose side are you on? Rana or Naga? <laughs> and Kitesh Garu is like, what is this? I'm a producer, I have to say Netflix's side. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Netflix. That's the safest answer. So, Netflix. <laughs> you know, as the character, I want them to be on my side. Nice. Kya baat hai? My God. Jidhar se payment mile, udhar. We all understand that, don't we? We all relate to it. I'm in a tough one, yeah. Bartha. That means you, husband. That means you play. <laughs> yeah, that means it has to be the husband. I would assume that. Most of respect to your father-in-law. I, I was, I was, I was inclined uh, towards him, so I think it'd be Naga. Okay, and Naga has to be on his own side, so we'll obviously skip the question. Or do you have a different answer? Me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer, Rana. Pass, pass it on. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> Me. <laughs> and Naga, Mr. Naga, do you have an answer for us? Well, if it's Naga, hero con, <laughs> star con, what is that? I mean, I don't have an answer that. No, no, but sorry. <laughs> but it's a Netflix show. I mean, uh, we have to do. Uh, I mean, you guys uh, going to be the. Uh, I'm going to side you guys, okay? Okay. So, I've never been to a beauty pageant, but I think this is my opportunity. I would say world peace. <laughs> and talk to us about your experience of being in the series. I really enjoyed it. I worked with uh, Venkatesh Garu in Telugu, and years later, I got this opportunity to work with him. I must share something very interesting about him, apart from him being an an actor, I know how difficult it was for him to speak a few words. <laughs> and uh, um, and it, is, it was an extraordinary experience for me chatting with him before and after. And I got to meet uh, Rana for the very first time. And um, I really want to thank my dear producer for having been somebody who's been impeccable in making sure that this show has been... Uh, you know, you've been our person because we know you through him because the way he took care of us. And I must thank this extraordinary duos who made sure that they were pushing all of us, including playing some interesting music. But uh, we will leave it at that for now. Thank you so much. We must simply find out what's on that playlist and why it was created in the first place. I will make it my life's mission, guys. And uh, sp spill the scoop, yeah. But uh, what about the creators? Whose side are you on? Well, as the creator, I think they need to be on my side because you never know. <laughs> it's all in my head, guys. So they better be nice to me. I am on my side. That's it. Team A. That side. Can I answer for Suparan? Yeah, sure. Back side. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And finally, Monica. Whose side are you on? The ultimate question. I think I'm always on the audience's side. I'm very, very clear. Netflix is on the audience's side. But I do want to say something. But I do want to say something that if I have to trust someone with my life, it's going to be Rana. But if I really want to live in a fun way, this is the guy. Hands down. Brilliant, brilliant. I've asked all the questions that I have, but it is time to uh, turn to all of you. We've got some press members, some fans who have questions that they'd like to post. And uh, my question is to Ashish, sir. Uh, lately, you've been taking, an o taking on a lot of, you know, grey roles and Surya is another one of those, you know, 
grey roles. So, what is it that is drawing you to these roles? <coughs> well, to be very honest, 99% uh, of my 240 films have been grey. <laughs> so, yes, lately over the last 30 years, I have been doing a few grey ones. I think I've just, I've just mashed my colour of hair this time, at least off screen. Having said so, uh, the roles have actually, rather than becoming white and black, they are now actually grey. So I have really enjoyed this rule uh, because it's not just black, it's grey and it's comical. So I really have to thank the writers of how they have allowed me to perform that way. So I really enjoyed Surya. Thank you for the question. 100%, 100%. Monica wants me to definitely get you to say one dialogue at least in that Hyderabadi Hindi. Then I'll need somebody. Is my voice here? Kya sukuna se bol raha Fabulous, fabulous. Hi, um, Monica. Towards your, I'm sitting straight to you. Yeah. Hi, Monica. This is Aditi from News 18. I absolutely love the trailer of Rana Naidu. It's intriguing. It has all the elements for a masala entertainer, as you said. I wanted to know, off late, there have been a massive amount of stories coming from South India. What can people expect from Rana Naidu? And what's in store for content next for Netflix? Uh, I think uh, where South stories are concerned, I mean, stories are just stories. And it's so, so wonderful to see that within India, stories are traveling in different languages, just like we have stories traveling from the world to India and Indian stories going out. I think it's so lovely to see Telugu stories working for Hindi audiences, Tamil stories, and Hindi stories also beginning to work in South. So I think that's something wonderful. And uh, when we were uh, casting for the show, I think the one thing that we were really, all of us between Sundar, Karan, Supar, and me, and the whole team, what we were excited about is that this gave us a phenomenal crossover opportunity. You know, the very first, and it is the very first pan-India show that any streaming service is doing, and to actually manage to get a coup with Venki and Rana as, uh, uh, you know, uncle and nephew uh, to actually come and do this was something which was, uh, uh, you know, uh, an epic sort of casting. In terms of shows, if I have to say, I mean, um, we've had a terrific last year with all the titles that we did, uh, you know, Khaki, Darlings, Monica, oh my darling, uh, and um, so many, uh, you know, titles that we've had, Jamtara, Mismatched. But even the way we've started the year, I should say, that we've had a, uh, an absolutely phenomenal show in, um, you know, a story in Trial by Fire, which has resonated with so many people and has brought some sense of justice to uh, the victims' families. Then we had Mission Majnu, which did so well. Uh, you know, it was a blockbuster hit on Netflix. Uh, we've had Class, which is a YA drama. We are so excited about uh, Rana Naidu. We had the Romantics rollout yesterday, which is a nostalgic, uh, you know, journey uh, for all Bollywood cinema fans. And we have so many coming, you know. I mean, the whole year's full of Guns and Gulab, Scoop, uh, Archie's, Chakta Express. So we are very excited for the year. But this is a Rana Naidu evening and... I am so rooting for this show. I'm just waiting for it to come on the service and binge it again. Uh, hi, this is Ravi Jain from ABP News Channel. Uh, my question is to Venkatesh sir and Rana sir. Um, both, have, both, both of you have worked in uh, Hindi films before and both uh, are working for the first time in a web series. I would like to know uh, सबसे ज्यादा चैलेंजिंग पार्ट आप दोनों के लिए क्या था जब आप इस सीरीज में काम कर रहे थे हर कैरेक्टर का एक अलग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक होता है और हर कैरेक्टर जो होता है उसे डिफरेंटली निभाना पड़ता है अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज होता है सो व्हाट वाज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू व्हेन यू वर वर्किंग ऑन दिस सीरीज वेल फर्स्ट द फैक्ट दैट समबडी आई लव द मोस्ट इन माय लाइफ आई हैव टू हेट इन दिस शो एंड दैट्स माय अंकल it was very hard to use foul language uh, because it was stressing him, it was stressing me too. Uh, it was fine as long as we were using it in, in Hindi. The minute it sounded in Telugu, it was just too much. Uh, <laughs> but so yeah, those were the difficult parts. 
But I think in terms of the way the characters were written in the detail that Karan and Supan brought us in right from the readings, uh, I think that we were pretty much on cue being able to do what we did. And unlike films, these are much longer where you're engaged with the character for a longer period of time. Uh, so it was a far more fulfilling, fulfilling experience for me to work with my uncle here this time than it would be ever in a film. Venkatesh, sir. Would you like to? Yeah, I mean, uh, trailer deka sub, right? And if you go flashback 30 years back, I mean, uh, last time uh, all of you have seen me uh, in a Hindi film or something. I mean, phoolon sa chehra te kaliyon se muskan hai Rang tera dekh ke, roop tera dekh ke I mean, it's been 30 long years and then there's another film, Himat Kareem, right? I mean, uh, after that, I'm coming and uh, doing this. I mean, it, this is some kind of a jump for me. I mean, uh, it's gonna, it, it was really crazy, it was wild and uh, I'm so glad I got into this uh, wonderful series and uh, Sundar, I didn't thank you. I mean, thank you so much uh, for getting this uh, and uh, Monica. Uh, so it's been a huge uh, challenge for me and uh, uh, the image of whatever I'm supposed to be having over the years, uh, a family hero and uh, a soft-spoken guy. I mean, I've done uh, soft roles, a lot of uh, comedy films, but this has been something amazing. Uh, I got to do something really different and uh, like I said earlier, uh, with the support of uh, all the super cast, uh, talented actors and uh, my directors. Uh, so, yeah. Venkatesh, sir, one, uh, more sm uh, one more question, small question. How difficult it was to mouth uh, Hindi dialogues? Uh, like, w was it very difficult for you? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was very difficult. Uh, but uh, Karan said, no, uh, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we'll find a way. And uh, I really worked hard on it. Uh, but uh, I think the final uh, output has been uh, fantastic. Uh, and, and I got to speak some real crazy lines and uh, some hard-hitting dialogues. Uh, so there are lots more. You guys come and watch the series on March 10th, right? <laughs> well, if I could add also, it's a character that's coming from the South. So it's very authentic the way he adapts in Hindi in Bombay, his character. So I think that adds a lot to it, that authenticity. It's beautiful. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, in the center, almost. Yeah. Hi. This is Akash Bhatnagar from Bollywood Bubble. Uh, Rana, I have two questions. First, it's for Rana. Uh, a little maybe extension of the previous question as well. Uh, firstly, we see in the trailer there's a lot of aggression and a little bit of violence as well between you and Venkatesh, sir. So the first day you shot uh, with him where you had to show that aggression, was it a little intimidating because he's not just family on screen, he's family in real life. And how easy or difficult did he make it for you to kind of bring that up? Well, obviously, he made it extremely easy for me to get into anything that we did. Uh, but I think what the first day, was it you? No. Yeah, Supan. I was shooting with you. And Supan has a view or you? Which one? I can't remember. Now, there's a way both these directors have us set in a certain mood. Uh, they make sure that the set vibes are similar to what we're reflecting on the scene. Uh, so I think that kind of takes away most things. Uh, but the worry started after I finished the takes. It's what the rest of the people are going to think once I say this to my uncle. Uh, and the worry started getting worse when I started dubbing it in Telugu. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, secondly, Surveen, I wanted to ask you this. Like, uh, I think your association with Netflix has uh, been such amazing that I think uh, when a biopic is made on your life, a part of it will be with your association <laughs> with Monica, Netflix. Monica, you're listening. <laughs> yeah. I hope you are. Uh, so, uh, and especially Netflix originals, not just Netflix. So, yes. you have uh, been given three amazing characters, be it Jojo, Shruti and now Nena. So, if you have to tell one thing that makes it memorable for you, each of the characters, what would it be and uh, which one has been the most special for you to play? I hope you realize what you're asking me. Is, this is... I think what makes it special is that all three are on Netflix. So, I root for Netflix, Netflix and always will. Yay! Netflix and chill! Good, good answer. I said in Hindi, right? Yes, I 
మై క్వశ్చన్ టు వెంకటేష్ గారు హాయ్ హాయ్ ఫ్రమ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఎన్టీవీ ఎస్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఫస్ట్ డెబ్యూ ఇన్ ఓటీటి ప్లాట్ఫామ్స్ రైట్ సో ఈస్ దెర్ ఎనీ స్పెషల్ ప్రిపరేషన్ యూ డిడ్ ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ రానా నాయుడు అండ్ ఆఖిర్ మే జో డైలాగ్ హై నాకా హై యా డైరెక్టర్ కా సో బోల్నే బహుత ముష్కల్ హో రా డైలాగ్ క్యా బాత్ హై అరే కుచ్ నే టేక్ ఇట్ లైట్ ఇట్స్ జస్ట్ ద క్యారెక్టర్ నాగ ఇస్ లైక్ దట్ ఐ మీన్ దిస్ గాయ్ ఇస్ క్రేజీ ఐ మీన్ ఐ మీన్ దట్స్ ద వే ఈ ఫీల్స్ దట్స్ ద వే ఈస్ గోన్ టాక్ సో దట్స్ ద వే యూ గోన్ ఎంజాయ్ దిస్ క్యారెక్టర్ బట్ టు బీ ఆనెస్ట్ వెల్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ యా సిన్స్ ఇట్ వాస్ అ వెరీ డిఫరెంట్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఐ Uh, took it up as a challenge and uh, like I I'm, I'm telling you the same thing again and again uh, the team was more confident and uh, uh, they showed me the way and I, I was there always uh, listening to my directors and uh, and I think uh, the best came out yeah with the help of all these great actors yeah so after releasing the trailer uh, are you going to change the title as naga naidu or still it is rana naidu so uh, to be honest uh, let me put a straight face and say I think naga naidu is better <laughs> that's what no no, no. we are supporting that's what she said to no no rana naidu i mean he's the real fixer i mean uh, the show is about him and uh, uh, the, that's the right title yeah yeah um my name is prasad i am from andhra jyoti group of publications hyderabad hi namaskaram no namaskaram namaskar bonara akka nunchi vachara akka nunchi chaala santosham chaala santosham so my first question is to rana yes what here first time you are experimenting with the ott platform what are your experiences right so tell us some of your experiences how difficult it is is it difficult so first uh, like most of my life has been an experimental life everything that i do <laughs> and me kad baad liya yeah but in this I'll, i think my brain was a 3 hour brain that i could understand stories only for 3 hours long and the minute i got into a series it was completely a different understanding of how you need to your approach with characters or the way you need to be uh what was extremely difficult and it's usually each film each character there's one director that comes and talks to you now you have two directors who are extremely opposite to one another yeah you bet they are opposite and meeku enta difference ante puri jagannath ki rajmouli ki unna enta difference untundi ante idatharlu so every day going and taking instructions from one of these two was i think the first set of the most challenging thing but after that things were smooth and fun my next question is to venkatesh garu chapan i heard you were no hindi dubbing is very well you did very well and you thank you thank you <laughs> so but it took a long time yanta kalam battindi meeku kalam yanta kalam yeah i mean uh, i think 25 to 30 days of uh, <laughs> yeah uh, but i really enjoyed it and uh, actually i in the beginning uh, i refused to dub uh, for it but uh, the team was very keen that i should dub and they convinced me and i'm uh, really glad they did that and uh, i really enjoyed doing it yeah <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you hi my name is shweta uh, here yes. uh my question is to uh, i'm representing cinebits my question is a little louder please uh my question is to karan and suparn so uh we read the uh, first of all good evening everyone <laughs> so trailer is great uh so it's an adaptation of ray donovan is what i was uh, reading so what were the challenges uh, or were there any challenges to adapt to the indian uh, telugu and mumbai uh, whatever the scenario is yeah thank you uh so it was pretty straight forward actually because when we saw the when i saw the show for the first time i just felt it was completely misplaced in la where it is set <laughs> and it lends itself so much better to the indian milieu and the complexities that come with the indian family dynamic where you're constantly supposed to respect you know everyone around you but beneath that vinya is a completely uh, different you know the all the angst that everyone has against each other that never really comes out which doesn't happen in the west right so just just that little tweak itself was uh 
you know, so much more interesting to explore in the writing of, of uh, you know, while, while we are adapting it. And uh, secondly, you know, again, LA, it's, a sh it's also a show about extremes and, you know, the situations that Rana Naidu gets into. They're very, like, it goes from, you know, uh, the upper echelons of power to, you know, the slums of uh, Bombay. And that kind of extremities you will not find in LA in the way you can find in India and, you know, between Hyderabad and, uh, and on Bombay. So that, that's pretty much, it just is a, it was begging to be sort of owned by us in a way. Looks like you had a lot Thank of fun writing. Thank you. Thank you. I, I Thank think you. we're a little short on time. So that will be our Thank last you. question, if that's okay. No, I just Venkatesh want to add to that, please. Hello, this, uh, is, this, hello. Is, this is Muthi from Hyderabad, greatamra.com. Yeah. Yes, sir, before Vengesh you ask Karal. your question, this will be our last question for the session. Vengesh Go ahead, sir. Actually, you have a different image in our Tilu films. You have had different mannerisms and your fans like that different, different mannerisms. But now you are doing a serious role. What about your fans and uh, what about the, <laughs> this one? Is there an answer, yes? Sure. I'm so, glad, this is especially glad. for all the Telugu audiences and fans of Victory Vinktesh. A Vinktesh film is usually watched by the entire family. Yes. But this film, I think each of you family members should watch independently. <laughs> On separate <laughs> Netflix connections. Yeah, uh, with separate Netflix connections and separate screens. Including husband and wife, it's safer to watch alone. So that… <laughs> this film… This show is like one big therapy session. Uh, hello, uh, this is uh, uh, Russell from PTI. Excuse me, I was just Russell, to inform you. Just now, Puri Jagannath sir message to our team. Just you rocked the trailer and it's a mad one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Fantastic. And with uh, that statement, oh, with please, that uh, little one more phrase, question let's I need to ask. Hello, this is Russell from PTI. My question is to both uh, Karan and uh, Supan. Uh, it, it seemed because you all have constantly been uh, saying that this is uh, a very, uh, like an adult show, Rana has also mentioned that people should probably watch it on separate screens. Now, I have been one of the greatest fans of Ray Donovan, having watched all seven seasons. So, especially uh, Venkatesh Garu's character, which is based on John White, it's one of the most explicit characters probably on television. So, have you all adapted it in such a way that there are no changes in, you know, all the shenanigans he does? There are lots of changes, lots of changes. And if you're asking if you have gone there, yes, we have gone there and we've gone way beyond. <laughs> also, also, Venkatesh Garu, one question. Uh, you had mentioned that uh, so graciously you brought up Anari and Takdeerwala, which uh, we still love watching. Takdeerwala is one of the classic comedies that we have. Uh, what has it taken you so long from Anari and Takdeerwala till uh, Rana Naidu to finally come back to the Hindi space? Yeah, these things just happen, you, you should, you, you know, and it just happened, that's it, yeah. It takes so long, you don't be bound by time, you know. You just wait for something nice to happen and this is what happened, yeah. Thank you. Hello, hello. We'll have last two questions yeah, for yeah, the session. Uh, this is Vinay from uh, Bollywood Helpline. Hello, Garo, sir. Uh, you look so much a hero. Uh, sir, tell us, uh, how's your character and how's your journey in, in this uh, Rana Naidu and have you moved from, from the television? Uh, how much time do we have? <laughs> we have a little bit of time, yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh, no, I don't know. Thank you very much for the compliment. Um, you know, you try and do the best of what you get. Uh, when this was offered to me, it sounded like something very different from what I've done so far. And um, then I met Supern and Karan and they blackmailed me into doing it. Uh, and then Supern blackmailed me into doing further stuff on the set. So, yeah, no, this has been a complete fun ride. Like I said, out of my comfort zone, something that I've never done before. And I'm very, very glad. I shall quickly take this opportunity to thank uh, Karan and Supern and Netflix and uh, Sundar for giving me this uh, experimental opportunity. Thank you again. Uh, Hi, this is Avinash from Hindustan. First of all, congratulations, trailer looks kadak, ekdam. My question is for Abhishek. Abhishek, we see you in a completely different light in Rana Naidu. How did you adapt and grow into this character? I think this has to be by far the most difficult character I have uh, attempted. I think uh, it was way out of my comfort zone because 
आई बिन डूइंग ऑल यू पी आईट्स एंड नॉर्थ इंडियन कैरेक्टर्स यू नो हर जगह मुझे मतलब मुझे लोग आई थिंक दे थॉट दैट आई एम फ्रॉम कानपुर इलाहाबाद सो यू नो इट वॉज आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर समथिंग विच चैलेंजेज मी मोर एज एन एक्टर एंड आई फील दैट वन एवर यू हैव टू गेट टू समाइंड ऑफ डिक्शन और लाइक एक्सेंट विच इज नॉट वेरी फेमिलियर टू यू सो आई थिंक यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट इट मोर सो टू डू दैट दैट वॉज द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग पार्ट फॉर मी प्लस यू विल सी वंस यू सी द शो दैट हाउ मेस्ट अप माई कैरेक्टर इज सो यू नो टू जस्ट मेस्ट अप माई माइंड फॉर अ कैरेक्टर अगेन एंड थैंक्स टू करन एंड सुपर आई थिंक दे बोथ हैव अ वेरी डार्क माइंड सो एज ही जस्ट सेट दैट यू नो दे वेंट वे बियॉन्ड वॉट इज इन द ओरिजिनल दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वॉट्स हैपन्ड ऑन सेट सो या इट वॉज अ ट्रामा विच हैव कम आउट ऑफ फ्रॉम आउ नॉट या जी मैं कलीम सलमानी ए बी पी न्यूज से आज की शाम के लिए आप लोगों को बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद हो यहाँ पर इस साइड लेफ्ट में आ, कहते हैं ना समंदर के किनारे मतलब यू नो ट्रेलर लॉन्च हुआ और इस मंच पर इतने आ, टैलेंट का समंदर देखा जा रहा है तो हम आपसे ये जानना चाह रहे हैं कि आ, सब आप लोगों ने साथ में काम किया है तो ऐसा अच्छा। क्या महसूस किया कि कौन है सबसे ज़्यादा ग्रीडी एक्टिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्टिंग कि सबसे ज़्यादा ग्रीडी कौन है कि काम करने की भूख किसको किसे बहुत ज़्यादा है मतलब यहाँ पर सारे एक्टर्स भूखे होते हैं आई थिंक एवरीबडी इज ग्रीडी If you're not greedy, you're not going to get your job. We need done. food on set, basically. Or कुछ मतलब लाइक मतलब अब कितनी मस्तियाँ हुई क्या क्या बातें हुई क्या 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 कुछ शेयर कर सकते हैं गौरव आप नहीं बहुत कुछ हुआ एंड लेकिन लाइक एवरी वन इज सेंग एम्फेटिकली हम सब भूखे होते हैं ऐसी कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है जहाँ पर आप कुछ ऐसा प्ले कर सकते हैं जो आप बिल्कुल हैं नहीं और वो वैसा बिल्कुल नहीं है जैसा आपने आज तक पोर्ट्रे किया है तो हम एक्टर्स की जितनी भी हैबिट्स होती हैं वो वो तोड़नी पड़ी जो अप्रोच का आपका एक इंस्टिंक्ट होता है वो चेंज करना पड़ा और हर वो एक नया आइडिया जो सेट पे डिस्कस होता था वो झपट्टा मार के भूखों की तरह उस पर यू नो हम टूट पड़े बिकॉज दिस इज अ शो लाइक दैट इट्स बियॉन्ड वॉट यू वुड कॉल ग्रे एंड ब्लैक एंड वाइट इट्स कम्प्लीटली विद इन द डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे एंड आई थिंक हम सब उसी उन्हीं डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे को डिस्कवर करने में लगे रहे थैंक यू एंड दैट वुड बी द एंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन वी नो दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू आर वॉचिंग एंड ऑल्सो वॉचिंग दिस डिजिटली हैव इमेंस नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन बट वी हैव ए पर्टिकुलर टाइम लिमिट सो वील हैव टू कंक्लूड दिस सेशन कैन वी हैव अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर द राना नायडू फैमिली थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग यर वी कैन टेल दैट यू each has stepped outside your comfort zone and you're going to put together a series that is going to be absolutely exhilarating to watch i request all of you to just kindly stand up for a quick photo opportunity so that we can celebrate the rana naidu family ladies and gentlemen remember to block your calendars march to is all set to release on netflix it has been an absolute pleasure and an honor to be here and to have chatted with the entire team the cast and crew of Rana Naidu thank you very much once again and thank you for spilling the beans sharing some of your secrets and we'll wait on that playlist whenever you're ready to release it <laughs>